Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Forge in Minecraft 1.15.2. We're going to be going over every single step of getting Forge in 1.15.2 from downloading it to installing it to making sure it's running correctly, even troubleshooting some issues. So if you've had issues installing Forge in the past, this video will probably help you out because I'm going to be answering all the common issues that Forge has when installing in this video as we go. First and foremost though, I do have a message from our sponsor which is Apex Minecraft. So you can go check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible 24-hour DNS protected minecraft server for you and your friends we actually love apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them so again if you're wanting a great apex minecraft hosting server running forge or spigot or bucket or just vanilla minecraft you can set one up quickly and easily with apex minecraft hosting again you can check out apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex nevertheless you are here for forge installing forge so you can get mods so let's go ahead and do that so the first step of getting Forge is going to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is actually our text tutorial for downloading and installing Forge, but it's here because I'm known to go fast. I talk faster than most people. It's just what I do. I can't control it. So because of that, we have an in-depth text tutorial for Forge here that goes over every single step. However, no matter what, you need to go to this link in the description because you want to click on this green download Forge button here. When you click on that, it's going to take us off to Forge's official website. And once we're here, we want to make sure we have the 1.15.2 version selected. However, we can see here MC 1.14.4. That's not 1.15. That's the wrong version. So what we want to do is click on the plus icon or plus 1.15 icon to the left hand side of the screen. And then when we click on that, we'll have 1.15.2 there, right? See that? Go ahead and click on that. And then it takes us off to here, where again, we can confirm that this says MC 1.15.2. If it says that there, you're good to go. Under download latest, we can go ahead and click on the installer button here. When we click on that, it will take us off to add focus. Where stop, you don't want to click anything. Stop, nope, it's, stop, nope, don't click anything. Stop, you're going to wait five seconds. Stop, don't click it, don't do it. No, your download's not ready. It is lying to you. Stop it, no. All you want to do is click on the red skip button in the top right of the screen. That's all you want to click. Nothing else on this page but the red skip button in the top right of the screen. Then when you click on that red skip button, on Google Chrome it's going to ask you if you want to keep the file. It is safe to keep as long as it starts with Forge, ours does there, and it ends in .jar, ours does there. So we're going to go ahead and click keep on Google Chrome. Now on Mozilla Firefox it's going to add, pop up in the center of your screen asking you if you want to save the file, and the same thing applies. As long as it starts with Forge and ends in .jar, you're safe to keep it. If your file does not say that, it's not the right file, you need to click that red skip button in the top right to get the correct file. Now at this point we can go ahead and minimize our browser here and on my desktop I have Forge 1.15.2. If yours isn't on your desktop, no worries, it's most likely in your downloads folder and you can find that by clicking the little windows icon. It's in the top left for me, it's probably in the bottom left of your screen, but it's going to either be in the top or bottom left of your screen. Click on that little windows icon and then go ahead and type in downloads and then have this downloads file folder in windows. Click on that and it will open up your downloads folder here and in here you will find Forge. You can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use. Now it's time to go ahead and install Forge. To do that, you want to right click on it, then click on Open With, then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary and click OK. But what if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary? Or what if you do and it doesn't work? Or what if this doesn't look like this coffee cup Java logo and it's like a stack of books or something? What do you do? Well, we have a solution for you. You want to go to the description down below and download Minecraft. Java for mods and servers, basically Minecraft mods, Forge, all that. They need this specific version of Java installed and um, we make sure it's up to date here and if you click that link you're not gonna have any worries you're gonna get the best version for Minecraft but this tutorial shows you how to install it now for most people that's gonna fix it. you're gonna install Java it's gonna work it's gonna be perfectly fine and you'll be able to open forge however if for whatever reason you can't we do have another solution and that is the jar fix which you can check out in the description down below it's gonna take you here this is a simple program that's gonna make all the jar files on your computer work with Java once again so for example if like your jar file was a zip folder or your jar file was a stack of books, you need to run the jar fix to get all of those jar files working with Java once again. Now we can go ahead and finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on that Java TM Platform SE Binary button there, and then go ahead and click OK. That will then open up our Forge Mod System Installer here, where all we need to do is go ahead and click on Install Client here, and then click OK. It's then going to go through, download, install, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge up and running in Minecraft 1.15.2. I mean, it's downloading hundreds of files. You're basically getting everything set up and making it to where Minecraft will work 
with mods. Forge is pretty like revolutionary and pretty cool if you ask me because it basically allows you to um, I accidentally hit enter and cancel that there. So as you can see, failed to run processor because I interrupted it. No worries. All you need to do if you accidentally close out a Forge in the installation progress process is just open up that installer again, click on install client and click OK and it'll skip right to where it was there and finish <laughs> installing. Don't hit enter because it will cancel it. You don't want to do that. That's not good. Now we'll go ahead and finish installing Forge and it will say successfully installed Forge for Minecraft 1.15.2. There you go. Successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.15.2 into launcher. Awesome. That means it worked. That means we are good to go. Um, that, was, that was interesting. I didn't even mean to cancel Forge there, but if you do that, that's how you can do. You just reinstall it. It's going to work. But nevertheless, go ahead and click OK here and now Forge is installed. But if you just open up Minecraft and hit the play button, it's not going to work. What we need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. Right? We, that's what we need to do. But if we hit play, it's not going to work. Right? If we hit play right now, it's not. You're not going to have Forge. You're going to be like, Nick lied to me. This is this is, this is is not working. It's not working. Well, no, it's, it is. All you need to do is click on the a little arrow to the left of the green play button there. See that? That little drop down arrow? When you click on that, you'll have this Forge profile. Under it, it should say 1.15.2 Forge right there. Go ahead and click on that and click play. But Nick, I don't have the Forge profile here. I don't have this. I don't have this. What do I do? Well, no worries. Don't freak out. As I normally say, we've got a solution for you. All you want to do is go in the installations tab up here at the top of the Minecraft launcher. And then in here, what you want to do is click on this plus new right here. See that plus new? Go ahead and click on that. Now you can name this whatever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is actually our incredible Minecraft server. We have grief protected survival on two awesome survival servers, medieval survival with over 30 custom quests and a player based economy and aquatic survival with MCMMO slash shop, a balanced economy. It's absolutely incredible. We've also got custom skyblock with OP enchantments and a mighty fun time. And then we have factions coming very, very soon. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, the best network Minecraft server in the multiverse. But nevertheless, under version here, we want to click on the latest release where it says that. When you click on that, you want to find release 1.15.2 Forge. Now, mine's up here at the top. Yours may be down towards, you know, down the list a bit, but what you want to do is find release 1.15.2 Forge. Once you found that, go ahead and click on it. I'm going to change my resolution just because, you know, that way you all can see once we get in game. And then you just want to click on this green create button in the bottom right of the screen. When you click on that green create button, your newly created Minecraft installation will be at the bottom. We can confirm that it is in fact that install or the correct installation because it should say 1.15.2-forge under whatever you named the version. So let's go ahead and click the green play button to the right of that that appears when we hover over it and now it will open up Minecraft 1.15.2 with Forge installed. So obviously Forge is working. This is the Ford mod loader early loading process and you install mods later on you will actually see those mods appear here. Now one thing I might note my mods folder may have had some mods in it so we're going to see if it like opens up and we might actually have some mods installed here. Most likely we don't though but it is possible. So here we go, we are loading in. As you can see down here in the bottom left, Minecraft 1.15.2 and then Forge is installed. We also have this handy mods button here. And in here we do have Minecraft and we do have Forge basically saying that that is the mod coder pack. That's what all the mod pack developers kind of using to code and things like that. And then we do have Forge, which is the mod loader itself. That is the API that links the mod coder pack with Minecraft. So pretty cool stuff there. and. Yeah, that's pretty much that. Now, I bet you're wondering, how do I install mods though, Nick? Well, we have a great solution for that, and that solution can be found in the description down below, as well as at the eye at the top of your screen. Down in the description and at the eye, you will find a video on how to add mods to Minecraft 1.15.2, and in that video, we're going to go over every single step of getting mods set up and running for Minecraft 1.15.2, from installing them to testing them. All of that is going to be covered. I'm even going to show you how to download mods and ensure that you're getting the correct version in that video. So it is very, very in depth. But here, you know, we can launch into single player. Anything we want to do, we can do here. Even you can join multiplayer servers. I mean, we don't have any mods installed right now. So we can join any multiplayer server we want, including play.breakdowncraft.com. So if you wanted to come join Breakdowncraft to test out Forge, you can. You can join right on in to our incredible grief protected. Minecraft survival server here. Um, we also have our incredible Skylock server with uh, new stuff coming every single day. It's amazing. But nevertheless, here we do have our aquatic spawn, which is actually, oddly enough, if we uh, look around here, it's oddly enough um, getting renovated right now. We are kind of in the 
process of renovating. So if you want to see how this, you know, by the time you're watching this video, most likely this is all fixed up. It is looking all beautiful. But um, if you do want to see the progress of this kind of live or what it looked like after it was all said and done, come here and check this out. I know it's a bit weird for a server that, you know, has 90 players at 10 o'clock at night, but we, we sometimes like to do builds like this and redo things live. And that's what we're doing here. We're having some awesome people on the server redo this and uh, make things look all incredible live while players are online and all that stuff well you know 25 people are here in aquatic survival but nonetheless thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video most importantly i hope you enjoy your mods if you have any questions about minecraft uh 1.15.2 forge let us know in the comments section down below also be sure to check out the this server play.breakdowncraft.com we do have our aquatic survival server here and that's going to have a player slash shop based economy with just custom ranks, crate keys, all of that awesome stuff, jobs, MCMMO. Then we do have Medieval Survival, which has a player based economy, 30 custom quests, crate keys, ranks as well. All of our ranks are actually global on Breakdown Craft, as well as just other awesome stuff there. And then we do have Skyblock with OP enchantments, custom islands, all sorts of awesome stuff there. So come play with us. Play on BreakdownCraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. But nonetheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.